Good morning and welcome to Mincing Around with me, your host, Jonathan Witherspoon. That's right, this morning I'll be cooking up an old favourite of mine, something to get you in the festive mood, something you can cook up in a jiffy to impress your guests over the Christmas period. But remember, chickens don't praise their own soup. If you haven't already guessed, I'll be making mince pies. Delicious. Right, before you get started, you'll need a couple of things. A mixing bowl, an airtight storage jar, a spoon, a sharp knife, and a baking tray. Now for the ingredients. You'll need 200 grams of mixed fruit and nuts, 200 grams of apricots, one cup of cold tea, 100 grams of butter, and half a teaspoon of ground cloves. If you can't get ground cloves, you'll have to make do with whole cloves. But cutting off a mule's ear doesn't make it a horse. Remember that. Now, for the pastry you'll need. One tablespoon of baking soda. Make sure it's not baking powder. It's common mistake for people to get those two mixed up. But even monkeys fall out of trees. <sighs> four cups of plain flour, one pinch of salt, 200 grams of butter, and four tablespoons of water. This here is the best one to get. It's royal baking soda. Firstly, mix up all your dried fruit and mixed nuts with your cold tea. This will cover that and leave to settle for a while to enhance the flavours. This is some I prepared earlier. Next thing, you have to get your dough or your pastry, depending on what you like to call it. You'll need all of these things here. And as we're short for time, just going to have to use this that I prepared earlier. You'll need some flour. Stop it from sticking. Just roll that out like that. Lovely jubbly. Then get a glass. And cut out your individual circles. Place on a baking tray. This should be pre-buttered, you must realise. Just another two now, just for demonstration purposes. Now, place your mince, just like that. Yeah, lovely. Be generous, it is Christmas after all. Next, put the lids on and press down and all that kind of stuff. But as we're stuck for time, Here's some I prepared earlier. Lovely. There you go, a wonderful treat for all ages at Christmas. But remember, a cat in gloves catches no mice. Until next time, I've been brilliant. A very Merry Christmas to you. <laughs>